The Church of Scientology became known around the world after actor Tom Cruise became a member. But now, some former staff members say people don't know what really goes on behind closed doors. At a news conference in Hollywood, they accused leaders of physical abuse and exploitation. One man says he worked for Scientology for 35 years, but says he left after severe beatings by the leader, David Miscavige. Another woman claims she was pressured into having an abortion when she was 17 years old. The former member said it was difficult to leave the organization and would be pressured to return. I said, if you come back, you'll get to talk to your sister, you'll get to talk to your husband, and we'll, you won't have to do the rehabilitation project for us, and we'll treat you better, and I made all these promises, and I wanted it to be true. But when I went back, I got stuck there for another three damn years. And my sister didn't talk to me, and my husband divorced me. Church officials deny the allegations. A spokesman for the Church of Scientology claims some of the people involved in today's group are convicted criminals. And he says there are plenty of people around the world who work for the church because they believe in its mission that their claims are utterly baseless and, and are completely denied. The church has over 20,000 staff around the world, 8,000 churches, missions, and affiliated groups in 165 countries. And believe me, all of us that work for the church love working for the church. We volunteer our time. It's something we do to dedicate ourselves to our religion because we feel strongly about it. Two of the former members at today's news conference have lawsuits pending against the Church of Scientology.